Well, hello, everybody. Hi, uh, good evening. I'm going to wish you a good evening because it is my evening and happy Tuesday because it is my Tuesday. No matter what day you may be watching this or where in the world you may be seeing this from, I hope it's good. Welcome to the Isward Games channel. My name is Jacob Burgess. I am the community manager and the host of the Isward Games channel. And this evening we are playing Y2K, a postmodern RPG. In fact, we are continuing through our playthrough of Y2K, a postmodern RPG. I believe we are in the home stretch. I think, I think. From what people have told me, we have two or three streams left in this, depending on how quickly I don't get stomped by bosses. Uh, I hope everybody in these trying, weird, weird times are holding together well. Uh, we here at Yisper Games are very, very happy to be part of your entertainment and hopefully a welcome respite from the ways of the world. Um, speaking of which, uh, on our Discord we have a couple of different things because people come to our community and uh, are here for a couple of different reasons. They really like Yisper Games or uh, they came to us through some of my work and some of the things that I do outside of Yisper Games, but it's a lot of... Um, it's a lot of different people that come for different reasons. So we have a uh, special channel called uh, COVID-19 and Corvids uh, because it's clever and fun, uh, which one of our community members suggests that we do because it's, it's just, it's birds and talking about what's up. Um, but because these are weird times, uh, and I'm going to repeat this a little bit later in the stream, um, we here at Gizbird Games are wondering what we can do to help make things a little bit better for you. Um, you know, there's a lot of sales and things like that that are going on. Um, uh, but there are various things that we could do. Um, you know, you kick on a sale for some of our games. Uh, we could uh, possibly work out how to do some giveaways here on the channel, uh, in the Discord. But aside from just, you know, giving some stuff away or making some of our stuff cheaper, as the community manager, I want to make this community and just things better for everybody. Uh, and we are committed to doing that. I'm, I'm, we're ready to put some more, uh, uh, some more time and, and effort making this community a more welcoming and better place, more fun, more engaging, because some people are stuck at home. Some people are in self-isolation. Uh, it's just, it's a, it's a weird time. And I want to help build the community, um, and, and make this a, a good and safe space and the kind of space that no matter how you want to engage with it, uh, we can. Um, uh, Hotari just said, uh, release Nirvana earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nirvana is unfortunately one of those things that it's going to be ready when it's ready. It, uh, it is a thing that we want to make sure is as polished as can possibly be, uh, and give the devs all the time and space they need to make the thing. Uh, and in case you are unfamiliar with what Nirvana might be, if you're coming to us for the first time, uh, it is the sequel to our game Valhalla, uh, in which you will see a reference to as soon as we log into Y2K, a postmodern RPG. But I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, this evening I have uh, my normal honeybush rooibos tea to drink. Mm. Ah, and it's very, very good. It's very tasty. What's everybody drinking tonight? Please let me know uh, here in the chat. Um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, we're always open for feedback, just as a general note. Uh, so we are coming close to the end of Hades. We have, uh, um, I heard, uh, Resident Evil 3 uh, Remake will be dropping sometime soon. So that's what we're going to be playing uh, after we're, we're done with Hades or as... After we have gotten through as much as we can with Hades by Supergiant Games. Uh, but tonight is uh, the game from our partners in Axe Studios, Y2K Postmodern RPG. Uh, Sarah Serendi says uh, she's about to go make herself some orange creme brulee rooibos. Oh my god, where do you get that? Oh, that sounds fantastic. Is that David's Tea? David's Tea is a, a Canadian tea chain. Oh, that... Hmm... Mm. And Sarah replied with, it's from somewhere expensive. <laughs> and that she will send me a link. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, but again, uh, we hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of the community. And um, yeah, 
no big announcements or anything. It's just been it's been a weird time. Uh, I personally, I have a um, I have a confession to make. Um, I I, uh, I downloaded Animal Crossing. Uh, as the Isbred game, uh, as as I try to be a positive influence on the Isbred Games community, uh, the Isbred Games community is also an influence on me. Um, and it's in the house. Uh, the household has an island, uh, um, and I, I, I have a lovely little tent and a fire pit uh, overlooking the ocean. Cherry trees stretching off into the distance. It's windy as hell. Um, and I got attacked by a tarantula. That was legitimately scary. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit farther in the game, and then uh, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build things up a little bit, and then uh, because I know a lot of the Isbred Games community is playing Animal Crossing, I will uh, will uh, I'll let folks on my island, and we can all play together. Um, it is, uh, it is, uh, uh, what, what did I name it? Ah, yes, uh, Men no Shima, uh, which literally means Island of Noodles. Uh, I don't know if there's ramen in the game, but I'm gonna try and find it and make a little noodle shop. That's my big goal. I have a log cabin and a noodle shop. I don't know if there's noodles in the game, but I'm gonna try, even if it's just spaghetti, and we'll just call it flat ramen. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's play some Y2K. Shall we? Let's shall. Uh, this game is from our partners at Axe Studios. They are currently working on a uh, patch, uh, which kind of is a lot of uh, quality of life and combat system upgrade stuff. Uh, you can see more of that and what they're doing uh, on their website. Um, make combat a little bit snappier and things like that. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be it's going to be really, really good. All right. Let's get to it. <laughs> oh no, it's the void. Oh no, the void. Oh, stuff. Oh yay. Okay. All right. Let me just move some things around here so I can actually see everybody. Excellent. All right. I really love that they put that little thing in there. I have no idea that there was a reference to Y2K in Valhalla. That's that's super rad. All part of the Hisbrid family. I forgot what I was supposed to do. But there's clues! There are actually hints. So let's do that. Assemble a band of four fellows to put on a concert in her mind dungeon. That's right, we're in her mind dungeon. And we have to help battle our inner demons in a very real way. All right, there's the Snorlax man. Somebody on a skateboard. That's got a heart on it. Let's go in the heart. Oh, let's fall down. There we go. Hey, that room is off limits. This room is for the one I love. You can't go inside. Okay. I respect boundaries. I love this music. Oh, there's the demon. Hello, demon. Let's check the trash can. Mmm. A BLT sandwich and cash. Oh. I gotta fight it. Ooh. Gross. All right. LP at all foes. Let's do that. <laughs> LP toss. Ow, that hurt. Oh, I forgot I can slow down time. Yeah, got him. Focus. 
There we go. Let's see if I fixed the controller. Nope. Nope, I don't think I did. I keep messing around with the controller, but the, the mapping is messed up somewhere. They're in the game or in Steam, and I can't figure it out. And we slow yeah. Trick shot! Ha! Ow! Yay, we did it! Actually, can I? Oh, I can swap. I can swap out. Alright, let's swap out Vela. Can I do that? figured it out. There we go. Uh, let's switch you out with Mikhail. Good. That should be a good... That should be a good fight. Fighty team. Yes, good. Exit. Aha. Okay. Oh, that is... Oh, it's the cloak people around the the robot girl cutscenes that we've been seeing in the middle. Oh, neat. Oh, this is weird. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Vela. Go away. I'm not ready. I can't play my solo. Shit, I can't even keep beat. I'm literally the worst drummer out there. I know it's important that I go on, but seriously, I'll, I'll need something to calm my nerves. Find me something to calm me down and maybe I'll consider going on stage. Okay. Is it booze? Do I need to find you booze? Do I go to the bar where there is booze? Let's try that. To the bar, where that is booze. Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Something for the nerves? Maybe a gut punch. Hmm, we're out of Bronson extract though. <laughs> There's a supply crate with more ingredients at the loading dock. I could use that stuff to mix up something similar, but... Some creepy monsters at the loading dock are preventing our staff from picking up the supply crate. Maybe you can help us out. Find the loading dock and take out the monsters so our people can bring the supplies in. Get that done and I'll serve up just the thing for your nerves. On the house. It's not really on the house. Like, it's, you know, goods and services. Basic economics. Mm. Oh, creepy. Okay. Okay. Alex looked inside of the chest. Obtain brass knuckles. Let's see if we can avoid... Nope. Dang it. Hey! Satasha. Satasha, good evening. The... Sometimes I have trouble reading people's usernames and... Solutions. Alex looked inside of the chest. Obtained brass knucks. We got them knucks. Is there something back there? I feel like if I fight that thing, there's something back there. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> or do I have to fight everything? Brands, 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 brands. Oh, are you interviewing me? Oh, Starlet Vela. That's so cool. Well, what do you want to know? My biggest turn on? Oh my, I never prepared for this question. I suppose I've always been a sucker for a man with a nice baby face. 
a Leo or a handsome type. Blush. Hey, buddy. Hey, Red, get out. This area is off limits. <laughs> well, fine. I didn't want to go that way anyway. I want to go this way. Alex looked inside of the chest. Obtained unsweetened tea. No mimic, no mimic. Oh, lots of money, though. Do I have to fight these things? I don't know. This doesn't look like a loading dock, though, so maybe I don't have to fight these things? Oh, this is always my biggest fear. I had these clothes tailored two months ago before I started eating so much. I'm afraid to step on that scale. Last thing I want to do is not fit into my costume. Will you do me a favor? Could you step on the scale first? I know that sounds weird, but it'll help me. You got it. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're really fat. Okay, I feel better. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, okay. We'll run through this again. Okay, yep, you got it. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks, Banjo. Alex looks inside of the chest for smelling saltes. Alright, I mean, I guess I'll just fight all these folks. Got him. Okay, good. No. 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 <laughs> Slow motion. Ooh. Hey, all right. Nope. Oh, totally missed there. Check out my sick beats. Mm. Goodbye, weird alien baby. Fare thee well. It was a pleasure. Oh! Oh, what the? Mm. Not... Ah! Good evening, Stephen Willisart. That stinks. I remember that being easier. Hey, hey, hey. defend. Oh, good. It's one attack that hurts everybody. Oh, for good. And it's not a dodge one. Everybody takes damage. This is for you. Nobody takes damage. Aha! Ooh. Dodge! Well, let's get rid of the guys that can hurt you. Not quite goodbye. Very well. Hit him, hit him, good. 
Oh, oh, totally bored that. Oh, I hoped it. Ah! I like how every once in a while there's just somebody in the back going, Disco. Oh, okay, good. I hurt you. Alex lacks the ability to aim. Hmm. Interesting. I might need to put some more points in hit. Whatever the hit stat is, I keep forgetting what the stats are, except for strength. I kind of made Alex our beater because he has the area of effect person, or attack. He has the area of effect person. I need mean, to just get called fat. I'm an area of effect person after I eat too many beans. Not good for anybody. Sometimes it gets trapped under my blanket, and then I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and I almost knock myself out. It's not fun. Ooh, I really hope I don't have to fight all these folks. Uh, Jacob, I think the game volume should come down a bit, or my volume should go up. All right. Let's put my volume up on the hardware. How's my volume now? Actually, I'm going to sit back, and that'll actually be my volume. There! How's my volume now? Way too up. Okay. Hello, testing. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Testy, test, testing, test, 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 test. Testing, testing the volume. Accounting for lag and testing the volume. Accounting for lag, testing the volume. How is it now, though? I understand it was clipping wildly, but now, how is the volume? The quality, yes. I was recording a video for someone and had to put the, uh, had to put all of the stuff up. Trick shot! This is better, everybody's saying. Good, huh. good. <laughs> Please go away. Please die. Be gone, sheepman. Be gone. Oh, I messed it up. That's fine. 32 hit combo. I think should be good enough to take this guy out. Cool. Found unstun. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so it did say the loading dock was in... Does this look like the loading dock? It was in one of the exit doors. Maybe this is the wrong exit door? Is there another exit door? Let's go look for another exit door, because that didn't look, even in a freaking mind space, that didn't look like a loading dock. What's this? Nothing. It is nothing. This is the void. Nope. No, well, I mean, that, I guess that's the only exit door. Okay, I guess I have to go kill all them enemies. All them enemies. Them enemies? Them enemies. Let's do it. Items. Let us restore the Pepe. Oh no, that's not. That's Hedge. Yes, there we go. Fountain Soda. Yes. Area of effect attacks. Marvelous. Let us try and make short work of these enemies. Oh, it's the weird stop sign. Mm, I don't like it. Yes, I'd rather not take any damage. Thank you. Flip. 
flat. Okay. Man, if you don't have the time slowdown, it really just... Ooh, ooh, ooh. They just wing all over the place. Pop pop. Good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. Oh, I cheated a lot of it. Oh, the Divine Spirit kept somebody else alive? Did I see that correctly? Oh, man. I was doing so well. Ooh. Dang it. Sam Skunk Works. Uh, I'll have to watch the VOD. Oh, give me a second. Oh, sorry. I'll read that in a moment. Uh, Sam Skunk Works just uh, subscribed, and we're very grateful. Thank you very much. And I'll read your message in just a moment. I apparently can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what? I'm going to try. I'll have to watch the VOD since it's almost 1 a.m. in the UK, but thanks for being there as an entertainer for us right now. Our whole country just went on lockdown, and it's honestly terrifying. Ugh. Well, be safe. Uh, we've got a lot of cool things coming out. I'm trying to do as much personally as I can. Uh, keep an eye. If you want entertainment, that is the thing that I do. So I am doing my best to do as much of it as possible. Uh, there are a lot of virtual convention things going on right now. Uh, my friends at Gehenna Gaming are running a uh, virtual horror con, which is going to be neat. It's going to have a lot of panels and a lot of cool stuff. I can't say anything more than that. I can tell you I'll be participating. Um, so there's that. Uh, we have some other folks that are putting together some like weird comedy shows. I'm going to be doing some stuff with my friends at Loading Ready Run to just try to put more stuff out there and put more goodness in the world as things are so uncertain and so weird. Uh, and then we here at Usbird Games, if you want to hop in the Discord and let us know what else we can do to help make things better, please do that, including, you know, like, nothing is too outlandish. We'll, <laughs> it's a weird time. We'll consider it. Trick shot! Huh! Stephen Willis Art says, oh, it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh, I missed. As soon as I said, I think I'm getting better at this, I beefed it. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I can't read the longer messages. Hey, a three hit combo. That is better than any other time I've done it. There we go. Blech. Farewell. <laughs> Sarah Serendi says, Yay, improvement! Improvement indeed. There's another gentleman over here. I use gentleman loosely. Fountain soda for Alex. Marvelous. Uh... Cetacea says, I, for one, am immensely enjoying the pet pictures in the Discord to brighten things up. Me too. Our general chat is mostly just pet pictures right now because things are weird and pets make things better. Animal friends. Animal friends. Uh, 
All right. Animal frams. Animal frams. And we just added 100. The 160. Uh, quote 160. We just added. Um. We have 160 quotes? I'm gonna have to go look at these. We have 160 quotes. And apparently quote 115 is any game with a banjo is a fine, fine game. <laughs> you know what? I stand by it then, I stand by it now. Any game with a banjo, fine, fine game. Good job, Past Jacob. Thanks for reminding now, Jacob, that that is God's honest truth. Ugh. Ah, zero hit combo. The Mandrew asks, uh, Banjo Kazooie. <sighs> you bring up a good point. You bring up a good point, the Mandrew. I'm gonna say Banjo Kazooie. Fine game. Fine game. Maybe not the best game. It has its place in the world. Uh, quote 31. We're not drugs. I forget the context for that completely. Bella ah! swings wildly. Cheap, man. Oh, you Catch healed. Up. That stinks. Apparently that was a miss. Good, great. <gasps> Hey, here we go. Attack. Trick shot. Hurt them, please. <laughs> Excellent. Hmm. Quote number nine is, the elevator senses your lies. That must have been... That was either Y2K when we played through, uh, like, the first bit, way, way back when we started the channel, or Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is a fun game. <laughs> That's fine. Quote number 69 is apparently, how do you hit on a brain? <laughs> what the hell context is that? Oh, zero hit combo. Jason Maxwell asks a good question. What context could there even be for that? Threat eliminated. Go tell the bartender Jill. Excellent. Nope. Don't. Why did you do that? Don't do that. You're supposed to run, not go in the door. There we go. Oh, contextual buttons. Welcome back. Thanks for taking care of things at the loading dock. Apparently that was the loading dock. All right, time to mix drinks and change lives. Is a good game. Here, be careful with this, mister. Try not to drink it too fast. Please come again. Nerve-killing tonic. Ah, uh, it was this door. Yes, this door. I find that this door is not a bore. Quote 27. Uh, I love walking into situations where I don't know what's going on. 
That was definitely Jacob's story time. All right, drummer Vela, get crunked. So nasty, I feel, I feel, I feel. I still feel nervous. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna do this anyway. Good, I can do this. Marvelous. The drummer has walked on stage. Yes, good. Back down the stairs. Back out this way. This way, yes. Yes. Alright, time to go into another room. With a star on it. Okay, that... That's a chop door. Let's not do that. So we got blue. We got light green and Snorlax door. Oh, there was another star over here. Let's go down over this way. Secret door with a star. Oh, I like how the... The music has the drumming in it. That's cool. Layering everything in as folks take the stage. That's very clever. I like it. Oh, I'm gonna need to steal that, uh... That skateboard. I almost forgot what a skateboard was. Oh, the polka flute! Oh, it is a Snorlax. Very nice. So I have to catch... Oh! Come back! Come back, let me talk to you. Nope, okay, don't let me talk to you. Fine. A sleepy man blocks the path. Alec takes the poker flute and jabs it hard into the man's ribs. <laughs> Bella's dad, ouch. What, did I sleep and miss my daughter's performance again? What, I still have time? I'm gonna make this right. Mm. Bella's dad has woken up. Oh, nice and creepy. Speak. Upset Boyne. Mom is having another episode. Sammy is trying to calm her down. Oh, and we got attacked. Ah, oh, the creature bit my butt. Ooh, traffic cone monsters. Dodge. I'm really glad we have the unlimited time energy turned on. This would be a lot harder. LP toss for everybody. Okay. <laughs> Black. 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 Oh, I missed completely. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, that sucks. Ah, one more. One more. Nah, I did it. I did it. Yes. Ooh. Get him. Good. Good. Ah, second chances. Yeah, I got fucking. <laughs> there, get him for six damage. Oh, seven damage. Mm. And I think his native attack hits everybody. Yay, that wasn't too hard. Alex spotted something. Obtained five dollars. I've stolen five dollars from your mind. What are you making today? Making some soup for dinner? That was Panda. Alright, let's check the trash can. $38.94, that's nice. Let's look in the fridge. 
Cheeseburgers? That's that's good. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's a piece of that door. Uh, I got a door piece. That's nice. Let's get the heck out of here. I don't like the flashy lights. Hey, tough in the eyes. Door piece. I should put the door back together. Let's see where we can go here. Okay, that's okay. Are you dead? Baby Boing, finally a Velo that has a comparable emotional capacity to you. Ha <laughs> ha, cause it's a child. Oh. Aww. Oh, shut up. What should I do? Don't take it. I, I can't do it. Do I have to take the blanket from a child? I mean, it's a mind child. No, oh, well, wait. Okay, now well, it looks like I gotta take the blanket. I'm gonna need it somewhere. Sorry, little fellow, but Uncle Alex and his friends need this. Wah. Okay. All right. Alex, <laughs> she'll get over it. Ooh, cold. Oh, there's a garbage can. Oh, I gotta, gotta poke around in the trash. Gotta get them raccoon treasures. All right, let's go in the blue door. did nothing that did nothing okie dokie so I'm definitely gonna need that skateboard for something the other the treasure chest over there and I'm just gonna wait for him to wander back all right and then we're gonna just uh, we're just gonna dash in there yeah we're just gonna fight a mimic I hate these things. Alright. Now I'm trying to do as much damage as possible. Ooh, 14 on that one. That's pretty good. Oop. Ugh. More damage. Dommage! Oh, ho, 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 so many hit points. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? Chuck an item. Spread item effect. Deal heavy damage with the basic attack to target, but at the cost of hit points. And a member of the party. Okay. Heavy damage. Light damage. Moderate damage. Uh, let's go with the heavy damage. Thanks for changing your stance. What can you do? Base drop. Slam base amp down upon the enemy for 15. Wow. Recover hit points. Banish the soul survivor. Causes damage to everyone. Let's uh, let's try to drop that base. Let's see what that does. Okay. Huh. All right. Can't that frackin' dacka do? Way of the warrior. Move fast to unleash hidden skills.
I really hope this is just going to do a bugger a amount of damage. Nope. Mess that up. Hopefully a ton of damage. Just 25. Okay. Oh! Uh, Jason Maxwell says, I believe the move instructions for that special were along the bottom of the screen if you do the base drop again. Thank you very much. I did see that. Well, unfortunately, it was way too late for me to do anything. Yay! Get him! Definitely doing this one again. Please do a lot of damage. So much damage. An unfair amount of damage. An un- Holy amount of damage, please. Concentration is the way to be. Concentration for you and for me. Concentration into the future I can see. Concentration. Please fucking die. Yes? Yes. Assassin Blade. 79 damage. Blah. 79 damage didn't look like it did that much. Oh, mimics take forever. That's it. Rest of the game, not opening up any treasure chests. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try this one again. Well, come on now, I'm counting in my head. I'm hitting the things. Hmm. How much regular damage do you do? Like around 10? Around ten. <laughs> Chris G. Miller just got here. Is <laughs> is this another innocent seeming game in the BAM Elder Gods? Kind of. This game is weird as hell. It's rad. Uh, Sarah Serenity brings up a good point. This game doesn't seem particularly innocent. That's true. It's not a sweet, innocent game, and then bam, Elder Gods. It's it's not that innocent of a game. 
and bam elder gods. Ugh. Oh, thank you. Chris G. Miller uh, just subscribed. Thank you for uh, two months. Obtained so much money. Oh, please. Please go away. Oh, I voided it. Yes. Uh, Gek subscribed for seven months in spite of Twitch trying its hardest to make sure I never know any stream I follow is live. I am here and you have my money. And we are grateful for it. More you being here than your money. I mean, that's nice, but it's more about you being here. Alex looks inside of the trash can. Yay. No. Ha <laughs> ha, I avoided you. All right, well, it doesn't look like I can do anything in here. Well, let's uh, let's use some items, like all of these cheese boigas. Cheese boiga for you, cheese boiga for you, cheese boiga for you. Oh, so here's something that really messed up my day today. I could not remember who the gentleman's name was from the old Popeye cartoon. Uh, who kept saying, I will gladly pay you on Tuesday for a hamburger today. Without Googling it, do you know? I had to Google it. Get got it in one. Gek and Jason got it in one. Wimpy. That messed up my morning. Like, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm going to get a hamburger today, or I should make hamburgers soon. What was that guy's name? And then it messed me up for a while, because sometimes I, I don't want to look something up on Google. I want the joy of discovery. I just went back in the same door. Okay. What other doors are there? There's that red one. What does this do? It doesn't have a star on it. Oh, yes. Marvelous. I'm scared of those treasure chests. I don't want to fight another mimic. I'm going to leave him. <laughs> I am going to save, though. Would you like to save your data? Yes, I would. Well, thank you very much for saving my data. Yes. Save the hell out of my data. Did I go in there? I did go in there. I don't know what to do next. It seems like there's half pipes and stuff. I haven't specifically been told to kick this person off of the skateboard, but I'm gonna try. Can I interact with you even? Or do I have to, like, throw down a something? Okay. They seem to land right here. Nope. Okay, can't do that. Alright, what other doors are there? There's the love door. I already got the drummer vela. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Use the panda. Let's see if that does it. Ah, thank you, Sarah. Good call, Bella. Ouch. What's your problem? I, I need your skateboard. Here, take this. It's too dangerous for me. I'm scared for. I'm scarred for life now. Thanks for that. I got a skateboard. <laughs> Sarah says. Speaking of quotes, quote thirty-seven. Sarah was right. Oh, you usually are. Woo! Here we go. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's not... That's not great. Okay. Ow! Climb the ladder. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, what's up, buddy? Why speak when the only thing worth hearing is the music I create? No, I mean, sure. Why? I mean, why? You're right. Oh, that's not... I don't like... I don't like that. Mm, that is not... Super good. A beautiful balloon vela stands before you, blocking your path. You are transfixed by her pouty lips and striking, contoured makeup. Kiss the Vela Balloon? Sure. Alex puckers and hesitates as the balloon comes to life. Hold on. I can't just let any guy kiss me. That'd be gross. How do I know you even know me? Can I ask you a few questions before you slobber all over me? Okay, good. What is my pet peeve? I believe it was an out-of-tune piano. <laughs> Stephen Willis Art, Steve, says, I've come back at a weird time. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you think that... Okay, next question. What is my biggest turn on? Baby phases. Hmm. Okay, next question. What is my biggest fear? Uh, getting fat? Let me see. Okay, you may kiss me. Alex puckers up and kisses the balloon vela. And she explodes. <sighs> She's practicing. I don't think you should disturb her. She gets really upset before a performance. Oh, buddy. You know how women can get, right? No, no, no. No, no, no. You're not great. That is an intense face. The scale is hard. Look, if you want me to play tonight, you'll have to find out the fingerings for the scale for me. I'm totally not coming up with a lie as to why I shouldn't go on stage, and I'm really having a problem here. So go find me a scale book, or I don't know, find a musician to ask, someone who plays keyboard. Okay, well, it's that guy. You play keyboard. You want to know the fingering for a B-flat scale on piano? My boy, that is so simple. Right hand, oh boy. Oh, what's that? Take picture of the answer so I remember it for later because my mind is Swiss cheese? All right. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And left hand is <laughs> another picture. Plakow. Everyone knows that. You've learned the scale for B flat. Have I, though? Have I really? Get in the door. Jason has typed it out in chat. Jason Maxwell, thank you very much for doing that. Oh, you actually found a penis to ask. Crap. Okay, well, I guess I have no choice. The pianist has walked onto the stage. Yay! We don't have to remember it, but Jason Maxwell, thank you very much for doing that. It is grandly and greatly appreciated. I say grandly because we were talking about pianos and keyboards. <laughs> no! Ow. Okay, cool. Boop. Let's go back here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Thank you, game. All right, let's go heal ourselves. Because we found the door with the healy bits. Not like the skateboard shoes. But like, you know, something that heals. And the two treasure chests that I'm scared of now. I like how the background's all watery. That's pretty neat. Pocket dogger. So what else do we have to go in? Is this uh we go in here? Let's go in here. Oh no, this is where we took the blanket. Run away! It's a guilt room. Okay. Here we go. Go in the blue door? Is the blue door. Okay, let's go zoomy doom. 
Okay. All right, let's just fight you and get out of the way. Okay. Couple of aliens. Okie dokie. Knock it though, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Valhalla has a reference to every game in the lexicon that we had at the time. Oh, hit something. There we go. That's good stuff. Hit the thing, boom. And the boom. Oh, I missed. Oh, it's not a good boom. That's a good boom. Okay, hit the boom. Hit the boom. Okay, hit the boom. Do the damage. Hit the boom. It's nice. I like it when they stop, you know, and then you can kind of cheese it a little bit, get a little... <laughs> get, get a bit of it, you know, it's nice. It's nice. It's kind of a breeze. I mean, cheating does make you a bit of a monster, Check but hey, what are you going to do, you know? Okay, you're dead. Oh, good, everybody dead. It's nice. Okie dokie. Oh, there's a treasure chest. I'm not gonna do it. Let's go. Whee! Huh. Well. Okay. Let's find somewhere else to go where this will be useful. Is it green door? No, nope, we did that. That is good. What else? Okay, there's this door. What's in this door? Nope, I don't like it. Okay, there's the two... Was it the earth one? Did we get... We do this one? We did not. What was in here? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, quite simple. Yes. Skateboard time. This way. Okay, we did it. Oh, I didn't see it because it was black on black. I don't. I don't like it. Okay, time to hurt everything. <laughs> oh, dodge! Oh, he's unstoppable. Dodge! Okay. Help it us for everyone. Oh. Oh. Some of you froze, and I like you. Yes. Yes! <laughs> cheese! <laughs> no! Messed up the cheese! LP yeah! Hurt everybody! Traffic cone monster gone! Alright, well, let's try this again. Nope! Nope. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I know. It sidesteps the attack. Thank you. Just hit it with the guitar. There we go. Fare thee well. Well, I gotta go in that door. Hello, other Bella. Bella, I'm hiding in here. I was supposed to tune the piano before the show, but I have a secret. You see, I'm a piano tuner who can't stand out. Who can't stand out of tuned pianos. They just drive me crazy. 
Last time I heard an out-of-tune piano, I smashed it. I lost my job because it was a very nice piano. So I'm pretending to be a guitar tech in here. Shh. Don't tell anyone. That's my pet peeve. See, I guessed that before. Could have come on here and found it, but I got the brain meats, and they just, they figured that out. They figured it out, and I almost spit all over my computer. Figuring it out. You know, figuring things out. It's a, a very moist profession. <laughs> Going up the stairs in this freaky place. This place is so weird. No, I don't want it. I don't. Aha! <laughs> Eat it, monster. <laughs> I feel very clever right now. Me well. All right. Me well too. Alex looked inside the trash can, and it's money time. Blah, 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 blah. Is it showtime already? Ugh, I don't. I don't think I'm going on tonight. I've got these weird fart bubbles coming out. I'm very gassy, and I only fart in the bath. You see. <laughs> Look, it's not that I don't feel like playing guitar tonight. It's it's just um, I'm nervous. Just joking. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't get nervous. I'm super good, and I know it. It's just you know I don't have a towel. Also, eek a boy. Why are you in here? Get the hell out. Creep, pervert, weirdo, spazoid, nerf herder. Okay, I've got a blanket for you. Oh, great. I guess I don't have any choice but to dry off. Turn around. Actually, leave the room. Yeah, I think I will. That's a good idea. The guitarist has walked out onto the stage. Uh, Gek says, I'll be amazed if this joke hasn't been made already, but at some point after this game is over, we should go back and make a clip of the highest combo counts for each character. Then we make an album of them, album of them called it Jacob's Greatest Hits, or just every time you get a higher po combo with Alex because he appreciates new records, dear lord. No, I was zooming. I don't want to fight you. Oh, it's a stupid sheep, man. Stop it. Uh, I want to. I want to. Mm. Everybody. Get. Ow. Mm. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Good. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt. Oh. Uh. 30 hit combo. I like how that one explodes. Okay, let's try this again. Yay, an actual, like, damage combo. That's nice. Good. <sighs> no fair. I was zoomy. All right, let's get out of here. Get there we go. That's not out. This is out. Okay. I think now it's just this weird blue door one, right? Is the blue door? It is the blue door. Okay, puzzle time. Oh, that's not what you wanted to do. <laughs> Gex says, so I just stopped doing all the enemy encounters. 
I got bored. It's very good. Oh, nice. This is Jacob's ladder. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. <sighs> to you too, sir. To you too, sir. <laughs> Defend! Well, I don't mind so much when you get attacked. There we go. Yeah! Hit somebody. No, fine. There we go. Get. Yep, just fire Sick randomly. Yes. 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 Everybody taken out in one go? Everybody taken out in one go. Fantastic. Time for items. Drink your soda, Alex. So you can hurt people more. So you can make these fights quicker. Nope. Nope. There we go. There we are. Up the left. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Here we go. Here we go. What do you do? What do these things do? Stupid puzzle. Panda for puzzle. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, all right, I'm gonna say that it is break time before we get to the puzzle. So, everybody, if you'd be so kind, uh, take a little bit of a break. Get up, stretch, do what you need to do, take your meds, uh, get some more tea, get a drink, uh, whatever it is you need to do with the break time, do that with the break time, and I'll see you in about five minutes, right here, on the Isbert Games channel, and we'll come back and we'll solve this puzzle together. How's that sound? I think it sounds great. How do you think it sounds? Let me know in the chat. And we'll see you in a little bit. A break time.
Well, hello, you beautiful goobers. Welcome back to the Isra Games channel. Uh, I got myself a little more tea and a bit of a nightcap while we play more Y2K postmodern RPG uh, and creep more through Vela's head uh, this evening instead of the uh, the lovely bourbon that uh, some of my volunteers got for me um, uh, at last uh, at PAX South. At PAX South, uh, this is the quarter cask ancient. Grains uh, that's made here on Vancouver Island, uh, authentically grain to glass. We distilled organic BC barley, spelt, emmer, uh, corson, and einkorn, the ancestors of all modern grains, into one of the most unique and flavorful whiskeys you'll ever taste. Candied fruit and macadamia nuts combined with spicy notes of clove, allspice, and smoke from American oak quarter cask. Uh, Jason Maxwell says, I need to go run errands before everything closes for the night. Have a good one, everyone. Stay safe out there. You should. Uh, Rita Spiritner said, I don't see a nightcap. You know what? You're right. I don't have a nightcap on. Let me see what I can do to fix that. I'll be right back. Does that count? I hope this counts. Does this count? I'm going to say this counts. Excellent. Well, this here is the mascot of uh, my Animal Crossing uh, island. I don't uh, have a name for it, but it will. Well, it's going to fade out the green screen, but uh, it's a little stuffed bowl of ramen. I actually, th th we, there was a plushie in the house that's not Final Fantasy XIV related. This is not my plushie. Uh, but uh, I don't know what the name is. But I like it very much. <laughs> there. There's my nightcap, Rita. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to Y2K, a postmodern RPG, and see what we can do about finishing out the mind, Velo's Mind Dungeon. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, puzzle time. So that button does nothing. That button does nothing. Does that do anything? I don't notice it doing anything. Oh! I think I figured it out because there's a movable thing here. Mmm. Mmm. Let's set it down. Nope. 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 Man. Okay, do I need to knock it down on the thing? Eh, get, okay. Nope. Oh, nope. Man, and here I thought I was being so clever. Hmm. What can I do? Huh. Oh, Vampire of Goth LP. Equipment, Alex, back alley boys. Oh. Excellent. 
Vampire or Goth LP, Stop My Breathing and Slip My Throat. That's good. <sighs> what the hell? What is up here? Okay, yep, I can totally fall off of that. Do I have to try to bust this down? Do I hit it at a high speed? Let's try that. Boop. Nope. Boop. Nope. Hmm. But what do these do? What do these do? Uh, Slopotamus says, is the, asks, is that a ramp? It absolutely is a ramp, but I don't know. Uh, it doesn't go the whole way across if I try and ramp it. So let's put... I mean, every other puzzle that use, that in the game that uses the panda uses the panda. So these two don't do anything. I heard a doom? Did I hear a doom? Okay. Okay. Panda on that. That doesn't do nothing. I guess I didn't hear a doom. What the biggity balls? Does it lower? Oh, do you have to climb up here to check to see if it does anything? Okay, so that, hmm, okay, let's look at the Okay, that went down. So we can look at the... Maybe those platforms raising lower, or those pillars. Oh, I thought I was really clever using the ladder. One lane. That's... Yep. All right. I might have to look this up. I'm going to look this up. Vela's Mind Dungeon. Oh, we did the towel puzzle. Oh, I cannot find this. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Gek asks, um, do you have to go straight off the ramp? Can you go to an angle? Uh, you know, I might be able to. Nope. It, as soon as you hit it, it goes straight. 
and Sarah with the link. Panda one, Alex Dolly. Ladder here, drop Panda down here. Interesting. One Panda Alex Dolly. Okay, let's try it. I think I've got the solution. Nope. <laughs> oh, that was good. Panda. Hey, here we go. Cool, thank you very much, Sarah. We got it. Oh, there we go. Marvelous. And now we go skateboarding. Back up here, select the skateboard, and then we zoom away. And we miss it. Mm. Do you smell hamburgers? Because I beefed it. There we go. That should do it. All right. Zip a zoom over here. Uh, Sorkheim asks, you what? I beefed it. I messed it up. I completely beefed it. Shia la beefed it. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Ah, the arcade. Well, let's see if we can steal things from the change machine. Can we play ski ball? We cannot. Nope. Okay, we can't do anything fun. Shit, is it time to go already? Do me a favor, when my solo comes up, turn the volume down. We can pretend it was a technical error. I hate having to do these stupid shows. The bassist walked onto stage. Mmm, -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's very tasty. Uh, Wilbo64 asks, is Vela best girl? You know what? That's all a matter of opinion. She very well could be. To a special someone. Or many special someones. Really, depending on how you want to do it. Okay, we got everybody on the stage. Time to go to a concert. I think we solved the mind dungeon. Let's find out what the fuck is gonna happen. Wilbo64 says, you have a great voice. Thank you. <laughs> Especially when I do this. Stage manager, we still need a singer. Bella, I'll do it. I'll sing. Thank you. Concert time. Huh. I mean, it's not my jam, but it's somebody's jam. Uh, Wilbo64 asks, are you wearing a Valhalla shirt? In fact, I am, and you, my good friend, have wandered into the Yisbert Games channel. This, uh, we are the publisher of Valhalla Y2K, uh, Masquerade of Song and Shadows, She Remembered Caterpillars, our upcoming game, World of Horror, and Nirvana, the sequel to Valhalla. I am the community manager and director of operations of Yosbird Games and the host of this year Yosbird stream. You are in the right place and should probably throw us a follow. Okay. Cool. What the fuck? Wilbo64 says, oh, I'm already following. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, and if you are interested 
in this shirt. We sell it on our uh, merch store, merch.gizbert.net, if you'd like to get one of your own. This is very cool. I really like this area. Hey! It's the record we were looking for. Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Well, here it is. Should we head back to my house to listen to it? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You have found the Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Is it a weird cutscene? Nope. We're just back in the house. Just to listen to the record before we broadcast it. There was a certain aura of unease surrounding her. She pretended it had to do with not knowing what would happen after we broadcast the record. But I knew something else was wrong. So, I bet you're all wondering why I insisted we play this here. I mean, I'm a little curious, yes. I enjoy furthering plot. I think it's obvious. You want us to listen to music, and Alex's spoiled ass has the best sound system out of the six of us. <laughs> That's actually correct. Uh, Wilbo64 says, World of Horror is heart. Thank you very much. Sogheim says, World of Horror is so weird. Thank you very much. Back in my reality, I had written an album this album but I guess you already knew that anyway just listen I hope you enjoy what I made oh I like that that the way that she read that line was excellent what the hell oh why are there tiny fellas with big Alex's What the fuck? When I hear this song, I think about distance. The distance between me and the reality I came from. I don't think I should have played this. Everyone is going to hate my song. sounds like that. The guy who I wrote this for, I wonder what he's up to. I hope this isn't as bad as I think it is. Can you hear my heart? It's calming. This is what music from my reality sounds like. Pretty different from yours, huh? I don't like those eyes at the end. This whole thing started with weird eyes. Do you ever think I'll feel the way I felt when I wrote this song? I hope not. I don't ever want to feel that way. It's so embarrassing hearing myself sing like this. I don't sound so bad, do I? Ha ha ha. Ginger Sage. I don't think I'll ever I don't think I ever love that guy. Okay, so the Ginger Sages have something to say. Ha ha ha. Okay, just ha ha ha. Great. Do you think this could have ever been a hit? Somewhere, I think it's a hit.
Yeah, all right. There are more Velas here than there are Final Fantasy games. <laughs> oh, good, there's a sky beam. That's always good. And I don't like how we have to get closer to the eyes. Which of me is your favorite? Vela 12. I think you're my favorite you. Oh, wow, the lighting effect in this. Like all the particles? That's... That's fantastic. I'm the worst of the Velas. I let everyone down, I'm sorry. Maybe my sequels will be better, but probably not by much. Have you spoken to all of us? If you get bored of talking to us, maybe you can just listen to my music. Or plug your ears, it is pretty bad. Ugh. Hi. Hello. I got way too close to these eyes. So, when this is over, please tell me that my song is beautiful. Just don't be awkward about it. Don't tell me that it's beautiful like me. Please just appreciate my art. My appearance doesn't matter. Only what I make, you know? Like, I appreciate you for who you are. Yes, you're kind of a brat, but Alex, you're really not that bad. I bet there's a reason why you are the way you are. Just like there's a reason I am the way I am. We spent so much of our journey learning about all of our friends. Why don't we ever ask about you? Who are you? Where did you come from? How did you get to be the way you are? I think that's what the song is about. Sorry I lied. No, oh, can't run towards the eyes. Okay, and Robert Merlot, one of our wonderful, wonderful mods, along with Sarah Serindi, uh, has uh, subscribed for 11 months. Near a year, what a year. It's beautiful, Vela. Yeah, really nice. Better than I could do. It's. Alex always has to make everything about him. Jesus. Nice. Not what I normally listen to. But I can tell it's good for the genre. Probably. <laughs> Vela has left your party. I could tell that she wasn't happy with our replies, but none of us knew what to say. The music had shown us a side of Vela that we had never expected to see, a sort of vulnerable side. I felt compelled to chase after her, to tell her the music was beautiful and that she was incredible. But my feet didn't move. <sighs> I remained as still and as silent as everyone else, my body motionless. I surveyed everyone's eyes willing my brain to bind with theirs and get what they had been thinking. Had they all hated it? What had triggered such a lack of enthusiasm? You should go after her. That's what I'd want. Let her know it was great. If this is Vela's album, why was a guy singing on it? I almost cried. I hope she's okay. You gonna talk to her, man? Yeah. <laughs> Alex has left the party. <laughs> Oh, that fucking phone. Yeah, what? Hey, man. Sorry I haven't called lately. Is this the dude that Vela's song's about? Yeah, deal with this now. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, she's at the playground. Go get her tiger. Okay. Hi. Chance Arbiter. I just saw Vela run by. She was crying. I think you should go after her. I'm pretty sure she headed toward the arcade. That's what a good friend would do. You are a good friend. Right, Alex? I like all the Halloween stuff. Yay, Halloween stuff? Oh. Arbiter concerned. You're looking for Vela, right? She headed up the street and into the park. You should hurry, she seemed upset. Oh, boy.
Jane Garter Memorial Park. Hey, how about we save the game? Sound good? Sounds great. Would you like to save your data? I would like to save my data, thank you. Hi. I want to tell you the rest of my story. How I came to be in this reality with you. Why Alex, though? But I want you to promise not to judge me. I don't know if he's capable of that. I won't judge you. I have come to understand certain things. Things I know to be true. Things that I know others wouldn't understand unless they had experienced them. Before I can begin my story, I need you to understand the basics of how I have come to understand the universe. The link between our bodies and physical space is strong, but it is nothing compared to the link between our minds and physical space. Our bodies exist as a visual representation of our minds. They are nothing more. Every mind has the capability of transcending physical form. Many do, even if they don't realize it. The very nature of physical reality is very unphysical. Humans have evolved to ignore the complexities and realities of the universe by using physical form to protect them from the harshness of existence. The very nature of being is to be in pain, is to long for and to be unfulfilled. To cope, we developed corporeal form. The use of physical form is not unlike leaving the light off at all times, obstructing the undesirables in the room. Do you hmm. understand what I'm saying so far? More or less. Please, continue. When I entered your reality, I was a much different person than I am now. My reality was much worse than this one. I was a girl who was entirely lost. From a young age, people thrust their expectations on me. They believed I was destined for artistic greatness. I was a child prodigy in many ways. I had peaked by my early teens, and I was no longer able to perform or create at a level that could match the adults around me. The uh, low tones of the piano in the background are really nice. I was, for all intents and purposes, a disappointment. Picture for a moment, being a young girl who can't do wrong. Everything I created, everything I said impressed those around me. I was the perfect child artist, but that's all I ever was. When I became an adult, my body grew, but my artistry remained childlike. No resistance, no place to grow. I considered quitting piano, considered removing myself from art altogether, but something pulled me back. Somewhere along the course of my life, I had developed an artist's mentality. I knew I wasn't a good adult artist, but I was still compelled to create. And with each new thing I tried, hmm. I continued to disappoint those around me. It was May 22nd, 1996, when I met the man who would fix this for me. Uh, Kumakawi says, what, what platforms is this delightful adventure, looking adventure on? I want it. Uh, PlayStation, Steam, Switch. At 3.02 a.m., I walked into a music club in the city. It was on stage, playing to a small but enthusiastic audience each note he played on his guitar oh in ps vita tell me something that i had always known but had never really understood after he finished i knew that i had to speak with him it wasn't before long that we became both romantically and artistically involved it was as if knowing him had somehow broken the seal around my mind that was preventing me from creating something worthwhile. Oh. The lack of refinement to his playing freed me from the confines of, of rhythmic and artistic regularity. I don't mean to suggest that he was lacking in technical refinement, just that a certain jubilation came through in his playing that I had never experienced. <sighs> Our relationship was like a whirlwind of physical and emotional affection. Amuse. Never had I given myself to someone so literally and spiritually before. Together, we wrote A Distant Voice, and I knew that I still had the hopes of being not only a good artist, but an interesting human being. 
Something terrible happened on May 22nd of 1997. At 3.02 p.m., his daughter had come home and found us together. Oh, boy. He hadn't yet told his children about me. I was a much younger woman. He followed her out in, into a coffee shop. I wonder why she phrased it that way. I was a much younger woman instead of he was a much older man. I waited for them to return, hating myself more and more for entering his life and making it difficult. I waited there until 3.02 a.m., completely beside myself. And the strange thing is, he never returned. He never came back into his own apartment. I stayed there for a few days, knowing he'd have to come back eventually. And he simply never did. Damn. I called his friends, I called his manager, and they all said they hadn't seen him. Just like that, he slipped through the cracks of my reality and never returned. <sighs> what a coward. And you never saw him again? I did. It was May 22nd, 1998, 12.01 p.m. A minute into the first concert I had put on since his disappearance. I had refused to do our music live or release a distant voice until I had seen him again. Finally, legal pressure forced me to schedule a release for May 22nd, 1999, with a year-long tour to promote it. Yikes. I watched in terror from behind my piano as he wrapped his arm around a girl even younger than I. Whoa! This girl was not his daughter, though she was probably his daughter's age. I left the stage. Yikes. And receded into myself. The man who placed his arms around that young woman was not the same man who placed his arms around me so many times. It couldn't have been. Huh. The man I knew would not have put on such a, a display of affection knowing it could hurt someone so much. It was in that moment that I longed to leave my reality behind, to sever my ties to my physical form and exist in a different space. Damn. For many days. Nights, minutes, seconds, I sat in my bed, slowly drifting further into my own depression, slowly my mind from my body. When the separation happened, it was almost immediate. Like rubber band snapping. It was so sudden that the painful moments leading up to it felt trivial. I was just my mind, and I had left my physical body behind. I floated until I found a reality that seemed different from mine. Hoping to find a reality that contained the him I knew. Hoping that he had fallen into this reality and we could be together again. He Was his voice the one we heard on the record? No, no, it wasn't. I don't know whose voice we heard. Huh. I was so nervous sharing that music with you guys, I almost didn't realize it wasn't me singing. <laughs> well. Everyone loved it. It was amazing. I mean, you did take the record from your own mind. Who the fuck knows what's on it? Really? I, I can never tell what people think when I show them my songs. Well, what should we do now? We should play a record for everyone to hear. Let's try and make the right choice. Lead the way. Vela has joined the party. Chapter 4, Musical Ultima P LP Legend. Vela's really, really rad. Yeah, here we go. Skateboard time! Yeah. I forget where to go. <laughs> go back home. Okay. Can do. Here we go. Blip. Yep, not, we don't know where the robot ladies came from. We're just gonna ignore that, but you know. Hey, you guys are back. Vela, your music was beautiful. 
So, what's the plan now? We should go to the radio tower. That way we can play it for everyone to hear. Sounds like a good idea. Lead the way, Alex. I will save the game. Save the game. Ah, uh, Stephen is going to bed. Good night. Sleep well, and thank you very much for being here. Voice on the phone, call again anytime. Now, where is the radio tower? I forgot how to get there. Steven says, it was nice catching a live stream. Well, it was nice having you here. Thank you very, very much. Rest well. Oh, the radio tower is... Oh. Right. I think I have to go out of town this way. But I forget... We just keep going south? No. We. Oh, no, there we go. Aha, I did it. Wait, hmm, maybe I didn't do it. Nope. How the? Oh, why is there a bad guy in town? I forget how to get to the thing. Money tree. I would like to take some money. Thank you. Oh, Robin Merlo says your backyard. Yes, that's correct. I would like to take a burger. Thank you. Grab that beef. Eris, she was so young. She went too soon. I ah, Final Fantasy VII reference. Robed figure three. Tragedy. She never even had a chance to be happy. Well, let's go the hell out. That's right, out of the back door. We must pretend we are poop and go out the back door. <laughs> Wilbo64 asks, is this the full house house? You know, I knew it looked familiar. It might actually be. It seems to have the same layout. Well, this has very epic music, so let's save. Very Final Fantasy-esque music. Yak is coming. Do, 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 do. Robin Merlot says, I'm reminded of Persona's music. I've never played a Persona game. I watched four episodes of the anime, and it didn't really catch me. But I heard the game is really good. I'm sorry, I heard the game is mostly good with some problematic parts. Well, let's save up here. I really like this music. Definitely Final Fantasy vibe. Yeah, this music's rad. All right, I'm pushing the stream a little bit because I want to see what happens here. Time is measured differently. For myself, it was in days since Sammy had been missing. 
For Michael, it was days until school began and he lost his freedom. For Vela, time was measured in music. A careless and overwhelming existence where the oral world carried more weight than the physical world. For Claudio and Rory, it was days since their siblings vanished from their lives. For Chandra, I think it was days until she could escape counting days since her little brother's disappearance. But for all of us, time moved at the same rate, calculating days until we found a way to feel important. Should I play it? Yeah. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We've come this far. It'd be stupid not to do it. I'm ready, guys. I feel like something exciting is about to happen. That is probably correct. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Worst comes to worst, we made the world a little better with some beautiful music. Just do it already. Okay. What? Oh. That's a very cool sword. Launch heavy projectiles at all enemies. Self-destruct causes massive damage. Do light damage to all enemies. Tranquilize a target. Okay. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, I can't banish them. I guess I will charge. Let's charge for one turn. Robert Merlot says your hit points are also your uh, magic points for this battle. Interesting. All right, well, let's see what an attack does. Oh, I see. On the color sections. Witness. Oh, it lights up on the outside, too. Ah, cool. Start out slow, nice, easy, and chill. Building up attack power to get this thing the hell out of our heads. Picking up a little speed now. Oh, we messed up. Oh, the attack. Oh boy, okay. Don't mess this up. 
Maybe we'll charge, just in case the game is going to pull a fast one. Let's recharge for five rounds. That's fine. Charge for four turns. Cool. At least the dodge isn't any of the hard dodges. It's just the regular dodge. That's quite nice. All right, I think we can safely attack and finish this guy off. Yes. I do like this song. Oh, nerds. Messed up the timing on that one. But that doesn't matter, because she can apparently kill uh, soul survivors. Are you guys okay? What just happened? I... Holy shit! Did you guys see that? <laughs> see what exactly? You guys put on the record and went into an epileptic fit. It would have been funny in any other context. Jeez. I, I did see it. It was amazing. It was the woman made of plastic that I've been dreaming about. Woman made of plastic? What does that mean, Alex? She's like an android or something, but she's like plastic. Eloquent as always there, Mr. Alex. That's happened to you before? Yeah, like once or twice. It's been a recurring dream or something. Oh, you are the jackass that gets bit during the zombie apocalypse and goes, Oh, I bet that's not a big deal. I won't tell anybody. But the entities that were behind the camera, she destroyed them so easily. And, and that wasn't Vanish she was using. Do you think she's still in danger? She was stuck in the van. If she could destroy the entity so easily, I don't think there's much danger she could be in. But we need to find her. That's why the entity who was living with me had us play the record, right? Uh, to wake her up. I agree. You're right. But what's actually going on here? What is she? I... You okay? Yeah, I am. But... Forget it. Never mind. I, I, I can't really explain it yet. It's just a feeling. Give me some time, and maybe I'll be able to put it into words. Okay. So what's the plan here? Save just the game. Go and try and find the van this mysterious android is in. If only we could have seen the outside of the van, then we'd at least know what we're supposed to be looking for. Okay. Okay. Well, I think. Whoop. Hey, Alex. Do you have a minute? What's up? I was wondering if we could go somewhere and talk for a bit. There's been something on my mind, and yeah. Uh, sure. Are you gonna stab me? So, what's wrong? Well, I don't know. I've just had a lot on my mind lately, and... Wait for Rory to speak, yeah. Take your time, man. Well, I've just been really depressed lately. I mean, I can imagine what's been going on. About my sister, my parents how much life is going to change from now on. Yep. My sister was a lot younger than me, but she really was my best friend, and now she's gone. I feel aimless. Why is everybody talking to Alex? We had plans, things we wanted to do in the future, places we wanted to go, movies that we wanted to see, new games to play together, and now none of that will happen. Sometimes I wish, you know what I mean. Bad things happen. Life has to move on, right? You don't have your sister anymore, but you have all of us. Michael, me, Bella, Chandra, Claudio. We can't replace your sister, but we're happy that you're still here. If you had become a soul survivor, then we never would have met you, and that's really depressing. I'm, 
I'm not the best with these sort of things. That's true. Basically, I'm saying I'm happy we met you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. This is awkward. Let's go find the android or something. Okay. <laughs> Try to kiss Rory. Let's, Let's go, go look for clues. I don't want Alex kissing anybody. I don't think I've ever loved a woman before. Not romantically, at least. I love my mother, I love my sister, my cousins, my female friends. I love them, but not in a way that's filled with a romantic sense. Why did he have to say my female friends? <laughs> I've had seven girlfriends through college and high school. None of them lasted long, and I never minded when things were over. Something funny happened that night when I went to bed. I had a dream again. Yes, it was about the android. She wasn't trapped inside a moving van. She was free and human. In my dream, I knew her very well. We'd been together for a long time. We weren't old. We didn't get old. I knew inside my heart how well she treated me. I knew for the first time. She was the only woman I'd ever treated well. <laughs> Inside my dream world, she entered my dreams. She entered my thoughts. She filled up every part of my mind, even the parts I wanted to hide away. She was like the old Bruce Lee quote, be like water. She was my water, rushing into all the cracks. <laughs> she was my spiritual bidet. Nothing could be hidden from her. I didn't mind. She didn't judge. She didn't have a place to judge. She, unlike all other humans, was aware of human flaws. She didn't pretend we didn't think about hatred, violence, jealousy, sex. It was a person. She got that. And if only she was, too. She is, and always will be, a woman made of plastic. I know how funny this sounds. Trust me, I do. How can a woman made of plastic be loved so much by a real flesh and blood human? A question that can be answered by the owners of body pillows, probably. I mean, humans are weird. We tend to love a lot of weird things. I woke up the next morning in a cold sweat. What was I feeling? It was like a warm light surrounded it's me. It's probably food poisoning, man. Someone had flipped a switch in my brain. I now understood something I wasn't capable of understanding before. Diarrhea. I felt a weird joy inside me. I had a secret no one else was allowed to know. A secret that was meant only for my ears. And it was the android who told me. Hmm. You're gonna ride the porcelain roller coaster for a week. I couldn't. I tried to recall the dream, but it was already slipping away to the periphery of my mind. I couldn't remember specific scenes, but I could remember the feeling the dream had given me. And I knew they wouldn't be leaving me. I thought about Michael. Then Rory, then Claudia, then Chandra. I had no desire to see any of them. I thought about Vela, then Sammy, and I felt weird. Like I had done something wrong. As if I had wronged them somehow in the dream. Or just like that. Suddenly I needed to see Vela. But why? Why did I suddenly have the urge to apologize? No, no, that wasn't it. Thank her? No, I, I don't know why. But I needed to find her and do it alone. That's probably not going to be great. Let's go save the game. I have no desire to see Alex do something probably horrible tonight. Commence the save. Oh. Yes, thank you. Call again anytime. Well, I think that's uh, a bit enough of Alex's nonsense for the evening. Everybody else is great. Vela is fantastic. Dear Lord, Alex is such a freaking turd. Anyway, thank you very, very much for being here this evening. Um... It's a weird time for everybody. It's a weird time all around. But thank you very much for choosing to spend some of the time uh, that you have with us. We will be back on Thursday for Hades. Actually, Hades this time. Unless Resident Evil 3 uh, Remake drops another freaking demo. I mean, I, we could play the demo again. We're not going to play the demo again. We're going to play Hades by Supergiant Games in Early Access this Thursday at 5 p.m. Also, please 
uh, keep an eye on our Discord and everything. Uh, we're planning on doing some other stuff. I'm going to announce some of the things that I do personally on the Usward Games Discord uh, because I I also, Gizbert Games, want to help. And I was thinking about what I can do personally to try and help people because things are really weird and things are strange and I'm an entertainer. I can entertain. So I've been reaching out to people and uh, signing up for a bunch of stuff to hopefully do as much as I can to put as much goodness in the world in these weird, 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 weird times. Don't worry, I'm not going to burn myself out. This is stuff that I want to do. Helping people it gives me life and energy and strength. Also, please hop into our Discord or DM me, DM any of our mods. If there's anything that Usbird Games can do to help the community um, do things better, nothing's outlandish. I may say no to things, but I want to hear all of... I want to hear everybody's ideas. Um, we're going to be looking into doing maybe some community stuff, starting with some of our volunteers and moderators first, just to kind of get some of the technical things down and then build out to the larger community. A lot of people have been throwing Jackbox around, so I'm going to look into that. I've never played it. I'm going to ask some of my friends that have played it before on streams, uh, see what we can get going. But please talk to us. Let us know what you're thinking. If there's anything we can make the Discord better, the stream better, anything that we can do to make things better for you, a sale on our merch store because you've had a shirt that you've had your eye on but it, it's it's been too much or something i don't know let us know what's going on thank you very much uh to our mods uh thank you to our social media coordinator uh meredith gerber who, for being absolutely amazing um just thanks for being awesome and thanks for being here thanks for being so supportive of the rest of the isbird games community you usebirdians are fucking fantastic and thank you for helping everybody keep their spirits up have a good night, and I will see you around the Discord, and I will see you on Thursday for Hades by Supergiant Games. Maybe we can actually get... Uh, I'm not even looking for out of hell. I'm just looking for out of Elysium. Gah. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah. Bye. See you. Mm-hmm.